musical theater, Shakespeare has nothing on the drama that we've seen between these two fighters. Todd, one of a kind, yes it is. You get fighters that know exactly what they want, they're driven, they're ambitious, and that makes a perfect machine. And so here we go, should be a good one. She just misses with that big right hand. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. of these women have been undisputed so much for defensive abilities. She's trying to buy some time here. We almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. The exchange punches. <laughs> Left hook just missed. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter punch. After what we saw in that last... Here we go for round two. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. It is a full moon tonight. The lights are on anyway. Plenty of light. Let's see if these two gladiators can take this rocket ship fight to the moon. These fighters are about to block themselves off. and say, right, that's it. Keep out of it. Now it's fight time. The whole day, everyone's been waiting for these two. This is it. This is it. much for defensive abilities. Is she out on her feet here? No, we don't see a knockdown. Good counter punch. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Two were made for each other. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who... And there's the bell for round three. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. On her right. Neither fighter willing to slow down. 
just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. You can't find a home for that jab. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Do you believe what we are seeing? Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Caution being thrown to the wind. No rest for the weary. Oh, what a punch. She misses with that jab. You don't want to trade shots. Catch and shoot with the... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Back at it in round four. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. There's a counter shot. stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. She's been in wars before. She knows what to do, but can she do it? Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Beautiful counter punch. script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Is this big opportunity to finish the fight slipping her by? No, we don't see a knockdown. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. She just gets out of the way of that left hand. She misses with the jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Yeah. Counters. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. you just got to try and cut them, skim them, go for speed. That left counter punch will score. Giving us a high tempo show. She throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. 
skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. McCaskill stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. She's been in wars before. She knows what to do. But can she do it? I thought we were very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Here we go in the sixth round. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Counter shot with the right hand. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Nice punch. Couldn't land that jab. Good left counter that lands. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. She throws a big left, but it won't score. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Nice counter shot. A perfect counter shot. That one will count. Big left, but doesn't score. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you. Here we go. It's round seven. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? McCaskill stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. And her best defense is not as good as her offense. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, weaken. Oh, McCaskill just got caught. She's in. The Castella goes down. One, two, three. Four, five.
Well, they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Oh, McCaskill might get knocked out. Like she's going to survive the round, but just barely. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big. And there's the bell for round eight. She got dropped in the last round. Let's see how she does here. with the left. Lands with the right counter. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. This can be so frustrating. When you're in such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Punch, counter punch. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. And wait a minute, the left hand lands. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Left counter was perfectly timed. Right punch. Good counter punching for both these athletes. We rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is here. Oh no, Katie Taylor hurt. This round could go either way. 10 seconds to go. got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance without... And there's the bell for round nine. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. The perfect counter lands. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. Nice counter shot. They both want the knockout. Another scoring shot there. Defense is not an option for these two. Oh, McCaskill just got caught. She's in trouble. And that's exactly where she doesn't need to be. How did they not go down? Counter right hand again. Catch and shoot. Oh, we rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is now. She's been in wars before. She knows what to do, but can she do it? A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get McCaskill stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. And the cast. sure with the knockdown. This is the 10th. 
She got dropped in the last round. Let's see how she does here. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Oh, McCaskill might get knocked out. And finally, McCaskill couldn't take anymore. Celebrate after another knockout win here. What a build up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.